Hello, welcome back to the Barlow Legacy. Um, as you can see, the girls have all moved out into their prospective homes. Um, Constance lives in San Maishuno, and her apartment is very empty. She didn't have much money when she moved out, and this was pretty much all that she was able to have. I did update the kitchen and the bathroom with the money from the other furniture so that it's something that you move in with, you know? Like when you move into an apartment. So the kitchen and the bathroom look kind of nice because I'm saying that that's what she moved in with. So she does have a bed, a desk, and a computer. I changed all three girls' main outfits. The graduation ceremony. Oh, it's graduation time. We'll go to that. I haven't played university in so long, I forgot that there was an actual graduation cer ceremony. Um, Constance is pregnant. She got knocked up by one of her roommates at... Ooh! I lost them. One of her roommates in the place she was staying at. Him, actually, that's uh, Micah is the one who knocked her up. I'm wondering if any of the girls are going to wait to pop up. Anyway, what I was saying before she got the notification was that she got all the girls got makeovers. Monzo. Like their main, basically their everyday outfits. And I think Jade and Constance got haircuts. Decided to go really short for her. I thought it was cute. And it matched the other texture of her previous hair. The other two are not going to show up. Um, I can't remember. Jade lives in... I'm feeling kind of lucky and Geek Kong is on. No, I have graduation. I kind of wish you could attend their graduations, but it's a rabbit hole. But Jade moved to Evergreen Harbor, I think technically before the semester ended because she also had been pregnant and she was getting ready to give birth. Clover is in Willow Creek. And of course, Constance is in San Maishuno. So the girls are kind of split up, but I'm hoping that they still get to see each other quite regularly. I do have them in my played households, but set for neighborhood stories. So we'll see what the game does to them. Apparently they had work today because I did give them jobs. And they didn't come to graduation, so that kind of sucks. But we're going to go ahead and go home. Actually, now that we're home, huh. and she's in her second trimester, I'm not sure which mod it's a huh. part of. But I have a visit gynecologist option. It's part of one of my ones. So we can go and find out what, sh or she can go rather, and find out what she's having. We're going to go if that's, this is what Clover, like I said, Clover didn't get a haircut. But Jade got kind of a dramatic haircut. She has fringe now and short hair. Um, why did I say fringe? I am not European. Bangs and short hair. But we're going to go Micah. I couldn't remember who her actual maybe daddy was. And find out the gender of the baby.
it is a rabbit hole, so we don't actually get to go. I want to do that realistic pregnancy mod, but that one messed my computer up so bad, so we're just gonna go with this and we'll check when she comes back. Well, that was quick. Constance is back from her gynecologist appointment. Results should be in her inventory. All right, let's see. Go ahead and throw this away. There's her graduation photo as well. The patient named above is pregnant with one baby. It will most likely be a boy. I was really tempted to keep that a secret, but I'm not that crafty at having a big gender reveal party. So, yeah, she's going to be having a boy, it seems. And we're going to go ahead and change her oh, into her ninja. everyday wear. Um, warn you now, it's a lot less grungy than what she did in college. Um, if you remember, she apparently likes country oh. fashion, so it's classified as being a little bit of country. Um, and also, it's summer, so it's Ooh. not much clothes, I guess you could say. But this is her everyday outfit for now. I think it's real cute. Some shorts and a little tank top. A flowy tank top at that to go over Ooh, her goodness, Nifa. belly. Are we sure there's only one in there? Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to. What time is it? It's six o'clock. Isn't she a cat lover? Because I kind of want to adopt a cat. Yes. And apparently, she does not like. lobster because every time she's ate it she's gotten sick that's actually how we discovered she was pregnant because she got sick after eating lobster university degree is in your inventory so now we officially have a degree yes what was I getting ready to do oh yeah I think we're going to adopt a cat because I like my sims to have pets and she is a cat lover and it's easier to have a cat in an apartment let's see who we have Ash Gucci Juniper Kelly Leo Mochi Napoleon <laughs> Napoleon, Paco, Ruby, and Tofu. I was really liking Gucci because he's like that werewolf looking cat. But look at Napoleon. I think I'm going to invite him over and see how she fares with him because he's so cute. Territorial, it seems. Who are you? Ashi Kyoto. He's cute. Nice girl. Introduce yourself to him. He's cute. Party. Offer. Wef, wef. Offer friendship.
see if we can get. Let's see what he looks like. Dude, look at me. Let's see. Mm -hmm. He's actually kind of ugly. You ever meet a cat or a dog? Whoops. That is so cute. No, so ugly. It's cute. That's him right now. Does he have a tail? Or is he bobtailed? He's. Oh, we're adopting him. He's bobtailed. He don't really have the money for this, but we're gonna do it. Carzini? Do I want to keep his name? Actually, I think I do. Aww, yeah. Congratulations, Dad. You are now the proud pet mommy of a kitty. And she is ecstatic about it. So now that we have a cat, we're going to need a pet bowl and maybe a pet bed if I have the money for it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that right quick. I'm not going to lie, I almost forgot to grab a litter box as well. But we'll fill the pet bowl and that leaves her with a little less than $400. So she's going to have to go to work tomorrow hopefully. Yes, and make some money so we can start furnishing this because you need a nursery soon. So it's morning and Constance is already uncomfortable because she has morning sickness. Um, she's not dealing with the pregnancy that great and I'm wondering if it's because she's squeamish. If she's squeamish, she's not going to like giving birth. I'm just saying. But we have work in five hours. Where did the cat go? Oh, he's in his bed. He's so cute. So, we might go visit Jade because if I remember correctly, she has a baby. And she threw up again. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that and go visit Jade and meet her baby. I didn't think about this beforehand, but hopefully Jade is actually at home and not at work. 
Where's her door at? So we have to knock on the door. How do you... Is it outside? Oh, that's dumb. There she is. What are you doing? So she just left with the child. You can bring the kid back upstairs. So let's go upstairs because we're at the horrible angle where I can't do nothing. Go here, hopefully with the baby still in hand. Nope. You put him down. Oh boy. We're going to have to click on the crib. I did add furniture to Jade and Clover's houses. I tried to stay within budget, but I did go a little over. But to make it more, you know, livable, and because obviously I won't be playing with these, I can't build their money up. So I did give myself some grace to add more furniture to their homes. But where did Jade go? This is Malik. Let's see if I can get to where you can see him. Um, he disappeared. Clean. Did she go off to work? Yeah, Jade went to work. So I guess we're gonna leave here. This is chaos. Kind of fits because I do live in chaos. We'll use the bathroom while we're here, though. she's about to go to work anyway so we'll just let it play out and I think it'll transfer me back home Constance's latest novel is burning up the San Machino Times bestseller list. 
The royalties from book sales have provided a steady income, but a phone call she just received could easily be her most lucrative opportunity. A producer from Plumbaugh Pictures reached out to express interest in adapting her novel into a blockbuster film. Unfortunately, they insisted that she couldn't retain creative control over the final screenplay. Is it worth sacrificing her artistic freedom? Cell movie rights. Constance will gain fame and money. Decline the deal. Constance's life will continue unchanged. She needs money, so we're going to sell it. Hey, Constance. Eloise has asked me out on a date. Should I say, yeah, go ahead. Notable newcomer. A trilogy is born. Constance signs over the rights to her hit novel for a big screen adaptation. The studio's producer immediately calls a celebrat celebratory press conference, proclaiming that she's just landed the next tentpole franchise. With members of the media hanging on his every word, he goes on to tease that they're all eagerly waiting the second entry in the series to discover what happens next. Constance's draw drops. What series? That novel was supposed to be one and done. Constance better get back to writing to keep the new audience of insatiable fans placated. So it seems we need to write some books. But she did get a good chunk of change for that. So we'll be able to, I think, decorate a little bit when she comes back. What are you doing? Licking puddles. That's so gross. Alright, we're back home. And get you to get something to eat. Real quick. Before you go to sleep. Hopefully you don't pass out. So she's in bed, but I think the first thing we're going to do, or not even the first thing, but I think what we're going to do is she's got $3,400, so before I end this episode, I think I'm going to spend some of that money. She needs a kitchen table and a couch for sure. So let's find out what we can do and kitchen tables. I'm going to try not to like keep budget in mind and just have her buy what she needs. Try to keep it not too expensive though but do we want a circular table or a I want to put it right here so I guess a circular with the tablecloth just regular. I guess I could do a square. What's down here? These are the more expensive ones. I don't want that big circular. Let's stay up here. Do the square ones look like? We can do with just a plain wooden table. This one matches her kitchenware actually pretty good, so we'll put that down here. Get some chairs.
we'll do three chairs. Um, set you, line you up about right there. And then come over here, pick a couch. I think this, not necessarily this swatch, but this couch is one of my most favorite in game because I like the blankets draped over the side and the pillows. But do I want this swatch? I think I do, just to add some color. So we'll add that. Um, get a rug. I'm looking for the, this will work, I think. Put you there. Back you up some off the wall. Set you right there. Do I have room? I want bookshelf. You need it. You need a dresser. Get a dresser that matches this set. That's too big. to a dresser and put some books down on it so that you have books to read. Actually, will you sit on top of the desk? No. Alright, put you there. Still at $1,300. How much the TV cost? No. Um, I want an end table in this corner here. And I want it to match this. So this color actually yeah we'll put you there and see what happens after she gets paid I need to oh I need come over here what's your Let's give birth any minute um Can you work today? Yes. Will she make it to tomorrow? She's off tomorrow. I don't know. But I guess that's going to be a problem for future me. Because I'm going to end this right here. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a good day.